Welcome back, Tech Room Enthusiasts. We're at TrustedShopify.com, and today we are in the Tech Room. In this video, two smart eyeglass brands will be going head to head. We have the Bose and the Ray-Ban. It wasn't long ago that the very thought of wearing a computer on your face sounded like a futuristic sci-fi fantasy right up there with flying cars. While flying automobiles remain out of reach for the time being, so-called smart glasses are already available. Smart glasses are basically wearable computers that can do a variety of things, depending on the model and the intended use. Certain models are capable of superimposing information onto the wearer's field of vision through a transparent heads-up display or an augmented reality overlay. Others may be able to take pictures and movies, listen to music using bone conduction technology, access social media, or use virtual assistants. We've chosen the top two competitors in our smart eyeglass review seen in the description box below. The Bose and Ray-Ban, both of which have received five badges from our team at TrustedShopify.com, would pit these two smart eyeglasses against each other in today's brand wars to help you choose the best one for you. If you're interested in the other smart eyeglasses that we reviewed, do check out our smart eyeglass review video link below. If you want direct links to the products themselves, all these links are also listed below too. So without further ado, let's start the brand wars. The first category that these smart eyeglasses will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with is their touch controls. Intelligence in glasses is meant to offer us greater ease and efficiency. Because mobility is a component of efficiency, we need a method of controlling smart glasses that does not compromise mobility. Tap, hold, or swipe are some of the most common methods of controlling smart glasses. Other companies have even developed voice recognition as another level of control method. As for Bose, with seamless capacitive touch and an integrated motion sensor, its controls are as modern as its concept. You can slide your finger along the right temple to adjust the volume or double tap to access your phone's voice assistant. And when you're done, take them off and place them upside down. They'll sense this movement and switch off. Meanwhile, with Raven, you can play or pause music by tapping the side of the frame, raise or lower volume by sliding your finger along the edges, and answer your phone by double tapping the side of the frame when you have someone calling. The controls of both brands are almost identical, so whatever one you choose, you can expect the same level of ease and efficiency. As a result, the opening round will feature a tie between the two. The second category that these two brands will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with is their speakers. Instead of having to keep putting in and taking out a headphone, a speaker built into your smart glasses lets you listen to your favorite music, podcasts, or audiobooks while you're out and about. A revolutionary Bose open-ear audio design frees you to hear and interact with the world around you, all while discreetly listening to music. An exclusive, wafer-thin acoustic package hidden in the temples produces a lifelike sound, while an innovative design drastically reduces the spread of sound beyond you. The sound is much better than any open-back headphones. It's sharp, clear with some good detail in the treble, and even a sense of bass too. And cleverly, people nearby can hear what you're listening to. Similarly, Raven features micro speakers in the temples, which line up directly in front of your ears, through which you can listen to music and make phone calls. Without having to put anything on or into your ears, the little speakers provide an adequate personal listening experience that typically does not irritate people when you use them in public. It's liberating to be able to hear what you're listening to without having to put on headphones and shut out the rest of the world. When tested with the same music, the audio quality of both brands had a notable difference. The Bose had a crisper sound with considerably more bass compared to the Raymond. Given that Bose is a speaker manufacturer, he may anticipate that unmistakable Bose sound. Thus, Bose wins the round. The third category that these two brands will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with is their microphone. When it comes to convenience, smart glasses now come with microphones that are just as significant as speakers since they're essential for hands-free phone calls and voice searches. Bose kicks off with an advanced microphone positioned to focus on your voice and uses a dual beam forming array, so it reduces wind noise and transmits remarkable audio. On the other hand, Raven features high-quality audio that offers remarkable sound quality and rich voice thanks to its three built-in microphones that capture sounds in all directions. Surprisingly, Raven's three built-in microphones and improved sound isolation beat out Bose in the microphone tests. With that, Raven keeps up with the battle and evens it up. The fourth category that these two brands will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with is their cases and battery. Smart glasses like smartphones contain built-in rechargeable batteries and need power to work. These are certain batteries that last longer than others, but in general, you should go for smart glasses that have a lengthy battery life that can last for a whole day. 
Additionally, you should take into account the included case, which is critical for the safety of our smart eye glasses. The Bose smart glasses have a battery life of up to 5.5 hours of continuous listening and can be completely charged in one hour. With a polycarbonate shell, microfiber lining, and steel clasps, its matching carry case safeguards your sunglasses with style. Just throw them in your luggage and go about your business with self-assurance. In comparison, Ray-Ban comes in a stylish leather bag that serves as both storage and a charger, allowing you to completely recharge your glasses up to three times on a single charge. On the front are an LED light and a USB-C port. When it comes to the Ray-Ban's battery life, it may last for up to six hours of regular use or three hours of continuous music streaming. In the end, Bose comes in a plain container with no charging capabilities, so you must use the provided magnet charger to power them. Nevertheless, even with music streaming, the Bose's battery life lasts up to 5.5 hours, which is much longer than that of the Ray-Ban's. Ray-Ban does, however, include a charging case that serves as both a protective cover and a charging station for the glasses. The versatility of Ray-Ban's casing trumps the battery life of Bose. As a result, Ray-Ban broke the deadlock and took the lead. The fifth and final category that these two brands will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with is their unique feature. There's a reason why these glasses are called smart. In addition to their standard capabilities, several of these gadgets include a variety of other, more specific qualities that elevate them to the status of smart devices. Bose served the last round with shatter and scratch-resistant polarized lenses to reduce glare, enhance visibility, and block 99% UVA and UVB rays. Plus, you can add your prescription to your Bose sunglasses anytime. But Ray-Ban is undaunted and flaunts a camera function that allows you to take high-resolution photos and video hands-free and is able to adjust to any light setting for quality content. Although Bose's high-quality lenses are a steel, Ray-Ban's camera function is much more impressive and innovative. It brings up a slew of new opportunities for recording moments, and on that note, Ray-Ban triumphs again. It's hard to believe that something as seemingly mundane as these smart glasses may bring about advancements we never could have predicted. However, only one will emerge victorious in this battle. Raven dominated Bose by a score of 3 to 2. Yet, this isn't a surprise because Raven has been a leader in sun and prescription eyewear for generations. This doesn't mean that Bose isn't good enough though, since it has also put up a good fight with its advanced features. All that matters in the end is your choice. So if you want smart glasses solely for listening to music, don't mind being slightly chunky on the side arms, and don't require cameras, the Bose is a perfect one for you. But if you're a content producer, social media creative, or someone who is often in a scenario where you want to shoot and catch unexpected moments, the Ray-Ban may be a fun method to capture them from a different viewpoint. And there you have it, folks. The battle between the Bose and the Ray-Ban has finally ended. If you have any contenders for a next smart eyeglass face-off, which you would like our team to test, do drop it in the comments section below and we'll be sure to assess them for a next update. If you like this video and it helped you in any way, please do give it a like and hit the subscribe button so that you can stay connected and updated with all of our research into everything that makes our tech rooms great. We look forward to seeing you at the trustedshoppingguide.com again soon.